Hey, what's up, AD? I'm Travis Barker. We're in Calabasas, California. Welcome to my home. In recent news, newlyweds Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have purchased what's reportedly their first shared piece of property together. Located in an area of Santa Barbara, California, which is where the couple got engaged and legally married, they bought the new beach house off of Conan O'Brien for $14.5 million. The new crib offers over 2,000 square feet of space, a large guest house, modern details like a Tesla charging station, as well as amazing water views. And it's the first time Courtney and Travis are technically shacking up together. Recently, Courtney opened up about living in a different home than her husband, particularly because they live down the street from one another in Calabasas, and mostly they just go back and forth between their respective homes. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have been married for almost half a year now, the couple still doesn't live together, according to Court herself. However, they did finally buy their first joint property together. This new home is located in Santa Barbara, California, a destination which the newlyweds love and where they actually got engaged and legally married. More specifically, the crib is located in the low-key beach town of Carpentria, which is south of Santa Barbara and Montecito. And the pair bought it off Conan O'Brien for $14.5 million. He paid only $7.9 million for the oceanfront retreat seven years ago, but since then, Conan gave the place a complete remodel. In this neighborhood, some of Kardashian Barker's nearest neighbors include Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, Kevin Costner, and George Lucas. This is the first time Courtney and Travis bought a house together, and recently, Courtney is the one who revealed that while they're married, they still don't live together. However, as you likely know, their main homes are located in the same gated community in Calabasas called the Oaks. When explaining the reasoning behind this living situation, Court said, We want our kids to also feel really comfortable and they have both lived in their homes their whole lives for the most part. And they each have their rooms and we are a block away. Travis shares three children, son Landon, daughter Alabama, and former stepdaughter Atiana with his ex-wife Shanna, and Courtney has three kids of her own, Mason, Penelope, and Rain, who she shares with ex Scott Disick. While the two have maintained their separate households, they still make an effort to see each other on the daily. Courtney continued, When the kids are at their dad's house, I stay at his house, and there's still nights when we'll stay at each other's houses in between. I get up at 6 in the morning, and I carve pool every morning and then I go straight to his house and have matcha. He has it ready for me. Then Travis apparently stops by his wife's home in the evening no matter what to say goodnight, even if it's after midnight. Either way, now these lovebirds can have a home they officially share, even if it's more of a weekend getaway. The new abode offers 2,142 square feet of space throughout, as well as four bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms total. The main house just has two cozy bedrooms and a single bath with 1,000 square feet, while well, there's also a downstairs level with bonus room, storage space, and carport. The home also has an open plan kitchen with top of the line stainless steel appliances, granite counters, and it attaches to the combo living and dining room. Here you'll find a sprawling living area with double height ceiling metal fireplace, as well as full walls of glass with views out to the ocean. This living room further opens out to the large wooden deck, which is perfect for bringing your meals outside, and the bedrooms share a balcony with more water views. If you're wondering where the rest of the bedrooms and bathrooms are, Courtney and Travis's beach property also boasts a two-level detached guest house. Here, there are two separate bedroom suites, which are ideal for either staff or family and friends who are coming by to visit. This guest space offers a living room and a kitchenette with breakfast bar as well. Attached to the guest house is the home's two-car garage. It's been decked out with a Tesla charging station, while the property has large gates for privacy. Also on the half-acre grounds, there are 50 feet of oceanfront land and a tropical jungle of plants and gardens that include large palm trees and much more to round things out. When they aren't spending time at the beach, Travis's main home in Calabasas is a lot more tranquil than you might expect from a rock star. His mansion is located in the exclusive gated community of the Oaks, and he purchased it way back in 2007 for $9.5 million. 
Thanks to aerial shots, we can see how massive the estate is, situated on 1.5 acres of land. While Travis has owned the home for about 15 years, he decided that it was time to give the home a refresh, appointing celebrity designer Waldo Fernandez for the task. When the drummer bought the home, it was newly constructed, and it's a single level spanning 10,198 square feet of space. There are also seven beds and 7.5 baths throughout, with features like a home theater, wine cellar, games room, and detached guest house. In terms of his redesign, his designer Waldo explained that Travis was hoping for a home he could quote unquote, be on peace with himself at. Throughout the residence, there's a toned down color scheme with tailored upholstery, warm woods, and a custom mid-century inspired furnishings. There are towering ceilings in the common spaces, some of them vaulted and barreled, along with inlaid stone floors, Venetian plaster walls, hand-carved moldings, imported granite, and marble counters. Travis's lofty living room has a custom sofa and lounge chairs by Waldo's Designs and boasts open views out to the pool. The nearby family room also offers custom furnishings as well as a cocktail table and opens up to a covered terrace for an indoor-outdoor vibe. Once you step foot in the foyer, you get a clear view through the home right out to the backyard and pool, and there are open living spaces all around. The modern kitchen is attached to a combo living area, roaring fireplace, and wall-mounted TV. While in the kitchen itself, there are sleek black countertops, wolf wall ovens, pendant lights, a paneled sub-zero fridge, and more. There is also a sunny breakfast nook with a chic table set into a curved wall of windows and a large separate formal dining room. The games room here was also reimagined and now dubbed the entertainment room. It's a sprawling space with a ping pong table, bar, and more. Elsewhere in the mansion, there's a full recording studio and a comfy looking home movie theater. Travis's master suite has a sitting area in a sunny windowed nook, a fireplace, walk-in closet, and an attached bath with a silver travertine tub. Outside, the entertaining pavilion has a barbecue center, outdoor kitchen and fireplace, as well as the adjoining mosaic pool and spa. All of this is surrounded by rolling lawns and fountains, and there's a poolside cabana back here too. As for Courtney's home, also located in the Oaks and just down the way from her hubby, she purchased this two acre estate back in 2011 when she was with her ex Scott for about $8.4 million off of retired NFL star Keyshawn Johnson. The 12,000 square foot abode offers views and celeb style privacy with six beds and nine baths. The mansion was already amazing, but you know with Courtney's flair for design, she had to completely reinvent the place. She appointed their family favorite designer, Martin Lawrence Bullard, who's worked on a handful of Kardashian-Jenner abodes to make the house a home. Courtney also had a focus on her three kids when designing and wanted to make the place sophisticated yet family friendly. Walking in the mansion, there's an impressive two level light filled foyer with walls of windows and the formal living room is fitted with black and white furniture, her piano, a fireplace and a very modern vibe. Then the chef's kitchen has limestone floors, a beam wooden ceiling and top of the line appliances like a wolf range and sub-zero fridge. Glass fronted cabinets also show off Court's neatly stacked plate bowls and mugs, and the room is spacious with an industrial flair. Other features of Courtney's mansion include a games room, spa and sauna, elevator, and home movie theater. In the past, Courtney has shown off her master suite on Instagram too, which featured her king size bed, a fluffy white rug, and a coffee table full of books. She's also shown fans one of the guest rooms in her home, which she wanted to give a hotel vibe for visitors, adding fresh robes, towels, blankets, and bottles of water. Another feature the reality star has added to her home is her very own Pilates studio with all the equipment you would need. The grounds of her massive estate include covered patios with an outdoor fireplace, a basketball court, and of course a beautiful pool and spa. The reality star even hosted an outdoor sleepover and movie screening in the garden of her home recently, where she set up a huge projection screen and comfy spaces on the lawn for her whole family to hang out. Elsewhere, Courtney's property boasts everything from fruit trees to barbecue area and an additional cabana. Her yard also features a flower wall that looks so beautiful when it's in bloom. Well, it seems that both Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have a peaceful vibe in their beautiful mansions, and I'm sure they'll bring that style to the new vacation home they bought together. But for now, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. Before we go though, let me ask you this. If you live down the street from your significant other and you both adored your homes, would you travel back and forth between them? Or would you bite the bullet and pick one home to share? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as what you liked or didn't like about their homes. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. 
My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.